community that kids have to meet. For example, it could be more controls on industry. It could also be um, restrictions on you know, whatever the sources of PM 2.5. In this case, it's usually wood stoves. Um, it also sort of triggers a complex array of sort of requirements with EPA. And so what I've been telling a lot of communities is that it essentially becomes a 30-year date with EPA that you really don't want to have. And so because of that, a lot of communities obviously do not want to get in this non-attainment designation. And so, um, so this just gives you an idea of um, just communities across Oregon where we do monitor. Hopefully you all can see this. This is the Portland metro region. We have um, four monitors in the area, two of which are um, sort of what we call federal reference monitors. So we use those to determine compliance. One is located in Hillsborough and the other one is located in southeast Portland. Um, the Hillsborough monitor is typically been sort of has the highest readings. And so this is sort of reflective of that information. And so EPA determines compliance with the standards sort of based on a three year average. So they look at the last three years worth of data. So this is reflective of 2013, 2014, and 2015 data. And so it takes a three year average of what we call the 90th percentile. So sort of the second highest throws out the very highest values. Um, so it takes that average, and so what you have here for Portland Metro is you're around 33 micrograms per meters cubed. The standard is at 35. So kind of close, but not over, because we do have another, a lot of other communities that are over the standard. Um, it includes Oak Ridge here and Klamath Falls right over here. Those are two communities, they are actually are below it right now, but those are two communities that were over the standard. They were designated non attainment and so they've been having to work on developing plans um, to bring the areas back into compliance. And, but you also see we have some other communities such as Lakeview and Pineville that are over and they have not been officially designated non-attainment yet, but we are working with them very closely to bring levels down as quickly as possible. Um, I also want to point out just this one other line. This blue line here is supposed to be right at 30. And so I kind of put that up there because when EPA reviews the standard, they look at the health effects information, sometimes they um, suggest a range at which they might um, set the standard, and they look at setting the standard at 30 in um, past considerations. And so if um, EPA were to revise the standard, and it's due for another look at the standard in 2017, so next year, and if they were to you know, lower it to the 30, which is one of the levels they're considering, you can see how many communities there are that would be over this 30, and that includes the Portland metro area. So then all these communities could very well be designated non-attainment. And so, um, you know, a, re a huge reason for why these areas um, have these PM, high PM 2.5 levels is due to residential wood combustion. So this just gives you a snapshot of what the uh, sources in Washington County are. Um, and so about 43% the estimate comes from residential wood combustion, so that's you know, burning the wood stoves, fireplaces, things like that. There's about 17% from residential open burning, and then we have 18% from you know, just the cars you drive, um, just a small percent from industrial permitting sources, forestry pres prescribed burning, so um, you know, the forestry burning you see out there to uh, sort of mitigate for wildfires, <coughs> and then other sources. So most of it is coming from wood stoves. If you go to other communities, actually that residential wood combustion high can be as much as 50 to 75% of sources. And so wood stoves are really sort of the key source of PM2.5, and so because of this and because of the um, issues that could arise through non-attainment, uh, the Oregon legislature um, sort of acted to address this concern. And so um, in 2015,